It's me, Bloodstained Wings, and I am feeling quite weird. And so, I decided to do a very odd painting. I have spoken about how I have been inspired by a lot of weird artists lately, and uh, you can go back and look at all of the references from all the previous ones. I'm not going to link them all again. Listen, weird artists, check. Excellent. Glad you're here with me on the same page. Now, are you ready to see what I did? That's your cue to say yes. Well then, let's see what I did. And here it is. Wow, the glare on this is pretty bad. Um, I will have pictures at the end of the video that will show you much better how this looks. Um, it is on a new type of canvas paper that is actually fabric, and so it's very bendy bendy. Um, <laughs> But I wanted to try it out. Um, it's very bendy bendy. Um, and so um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this canvas paper since I don't like how bendy bendy it is. But that being said, if you would like to paint along, please feel free to start on a black canvas. Um, get out your alizarin crimson, sap green, viridian hue, uh, burnt umber, cadmium red, a little bit of titanium white, and as always, your goop. Oh, and a little bit of yellow ochre. I almost forgot. And uh, if you're ready, let's go ahead and start. Hello. So, I hope you guys are ready for another dramatically crazy, I've been looking at too many inspirations online kind of painting. Because um, that's what you signed up for. I didn't get paintbrushes ready. I am now back with paintbrushes ready. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so now... Um, I've already pre-done my goop, um, and now I'm going to do some crazy stuff. So, first of all, I want to have some red here, right there. I want to have some red right there. I also want to have red up here, go into about here. Like so. Coming, scooping in over here. Doing a little scoop. Not shoop. Um, scoop. I know you want to shoop. You know, I, I know, I know. It's, it's okay. It's okay. With the bow-legged one. Because <laughs> your weakness is men. Okay then, chill. Mind your business. <laughs> should I just sing the song at this point? At this point, I should just sing it. Chillin', chillin', mindin' my business. That's fine. The world had to come over something kind of, oh, wicked, wicked, had to kick it. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I promise I am done. I will stop singing. Uh, okay, so now we've got the red very dramatically laid, um, which is great. You guys can't see anything, but it's there. I've got like a little scoop action down here. Just want to make sure that scoop is really there. Okay, um, and then now I'm gonna grab sap green. I'm gonna grab viridian hue. I'm gonna grab viridian hue. And we're going to go in this middle section here and try to get it as transparent as possible. And we're gonna have the middle section be this lovely viridian hue. Yep, like that. Come up a little bit, down a little bit. This little buffer of its existence. There we go. And then the rest of this I'm going to do sap green. So you can kind of see that one. And it exists more so than the, re than the red does, at least. I'm going to put the sap green down here. Now the sap green, as soon as it touches the red, is going to start turning brown. And I don't want that just yet. So I'm not going to blend first. I'm going to apply first, then blend. So we're just grabbing a bunch of sap green, getting it on there, leaving a wide buffer. Now I can see where I have delineated the red and the not red. I can see that. 
You guys can't really see that, but I can, and that's the important part. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start blending because I want this part to be like kind of brownish, kind of brownish up here like that, and in this zone here. All right, good. A little bit of the mixing there, and then we're gonna come in here, and this is gonna be kind of brownish. Now that we've blended it, kind of brownish, and that's okay. We want it to be kind of brownish in the parts where it blends between the yellow and the, or the yellow, the red and the green. Okay, now we have a basis from which to work from, but before we get too intimate with what's going on, I uh, feel like crazy time is justified. So um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my palette knife. I'm going to grab a little bit of some cadmium red with a little bit of some uh, yellow ochre because, you know, that, that's what I do. It's going to give me this like fiery orangey red kind of color. And I'm not going to mix it very much on my brush. And I'm just going to come in here and give some like weird textures to my sky. I want it to be like, like that. And, you know, I don't know if these are clouds or if this is just the sky. Not entirely sure. But that's where we're starting. That's our starting point. Um, that one's got a little bit of blue in it. Let's go with this one. Yeah. All right. Uh, and now we're going to blend that out. And it's going to pick up some of the red that's in the background as well. I'm hoping for some, like, really weird clouds to just kind of like happen. We're kind of just hoping for the weirdest of weird to just start existing. That's the best case scenario, something weird happens. Worst case scenario, we have something normal and I don't like it. But you know, maybe it'll sell better if it's normal. <laughs> Probably not. My paintings don't sell very well. In case you want to know, in case you're like, you know, I really like that painting. You probably have time to wait and think about it. <laughs> I mean, by now, limited supplies. There's only, I mean, there is only one. This is very true. I'm not lying. I just, they just, they don't sell very well. Because <laughs> my paintings are weird. Especially these weird ones. These weird ones, very in particular, do not sell well. Um, but I like painting them and that's the important part. I don't care if they sell well as much as I care that I like them. Anyways, uh, I've, I was sp speaking previously in a lot of my other videos about some weird artists that I've been, um, enjoying, um, and, uh, yeah, continuing to enjoy those weird artists. They have a lot of work to be inspired by, um as one does. So, you know, continue to be inspired by um, crazy artists. If you have some crazy artists that you like to follow, um, that you want to share with me, please do. I love looking at crazy art. Um, I'm all about being inspired by crazy art and making it look much less crazy. <laughs> Even though these arts tend to be really like weird and crazy for me, um, they're not really overly crazy in the end. At the end of the day, because they're still landscapes. They're just weird landscapes. They're not like you know, crazy giant creatures floating in the distance kind of landscapes. I mean, I have done some of those, but this one's not gonna be. This one is going to have a nice glow in the middle that I'm very excited to do. So let's, let's get on with that. Let's have, um, let's have that glow going on. So I've got a little bit of my titanium white with a hair. That's very important. Make sure your hair is involved. Okay, no, gross. Um, so I'm just going to have like a little glow through here with this beautiful viridian hue. And I'm going to be very soft with it very soft just like super soft i'm actually going to clean all the paint off of my brush now and just come in and just like really like wisp it about and make it kind of look like it's 
a little bit of glowy, a little bit of some like wispy cloud action. It's just gonna be like a really nice kind of highlighted area through here. More, more wisps, more wisps. There we go. Very wispy. For this painting, I have an idea in my head. I don't, <laughs> I don't actually, I've, I've got like seven paintings that I'm like, I'm inspired by this and this and also this and um, this one and also that one. So it's really hard to just say like one thing or another, but basically I've been inspired by some crazy artists and I want to try to, you know, have that crazy art feel to my art. I love the way that looks. Awesome. Nailed it. Um, okay, so now I want to do a little bit, just a little bit, just, just a smidgen of this red. Going like this on the edge, just pulling down very gently. And that's going to give us a little, well, you can't, you can't see it at all. It's so gentle, you can't see it at all. That's important. I'm just going to blend these together. Yay. The idea here is to give me like a little bit of a, an edge that's like holding all of this together and in. Ooh, it looks cool. It looks like a blood waterfall. Not what I was going for. Absolutely love it. Um, cool. All right, let's get some brown. Brown! Um, and now we're going to build like a big rock pillar right here. And then we're going to highlight that with some like reds and stuff. Just want like a big rock pillar to like hold in the magic. That's what, that's what we're going for is like we're holding in the magic. There we go. It's a little bit bigger over here. Good job. There we go. Just hold in that magic. All right. And now we can do very, very soft highlights in the green on the one side. Mix it with a little bit of the brown. So we'll just have a little like whoosh. It looks like the light is kind of just just grazing the outside. Yes. <laughs> Nailed it. Um same with on this side, just a wee bit grazing the outside. We got a little bit of light coming from there. And then the rest, we want to have like a reddish, brownish kind of, not highlight as much as low light, I guess. I guess this is the opposite, and I don't know. But we want to have that on like the outside to be like. Basically, I'm trying to play with light to make it like the highlights are in the green and the low lights are in the reds, which is giving it this like weirdly fantastical kind of thing. Um, and then I want to continue. I want to have a ledge here. Do I want to have a ledge here? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's going to look bad actually. No, I think I'm going to do brown. I think we're going to go back to our brown. 
Um, just have like brown built up over here. And then little brown and red highlights on those. Because this part's in like total shadow. Ho ho! It's edgy. It's cool. And it's exactly what we're looking for. Woo! Okay, more of the brown. So I can do the other side. Just gonna have that to like come. Oh my gosh, I really like the way that this centerpiece is highlighted and glowing already. Like that's, that's just awesome. <laughs> I'm allowed to impress myself, okay? It's fine. All right, let's grab some of the red, pull down some dark red To give that a little more texture and existence and but still be very dark all right excellent we have the dark beautiful um okay let's do some let's do some landscaping let's have like a little bit of some like land yeah let's have a little land um well we've got this let's use this one it's got a little bit of the green and then that's fine. It's also got a little bit of the brown, which is also fine. So we're just going to... Okay, it's all green. And by that I mean it's all brown. And that's okay, we're just going to add that in here. We'll add some quiet highlights that are in the, in the greens. Or perhaps I will just go straight into that. Have a little bit of some green highlights. That just kind of float around make a little bit of goop there we go just to give it that like textural it exists kind of feel and also make it more green and also make it more green I just wanted it to be a little bit more green, which is good. We're going to grab more green and come in here and make it really magically green. Little, little ridges of grass. to be like really quiet little ridges of grass. They're only just getting a little bit of highlight from, from the glow. Make sure this is the right color. A little bit through there so that it just picks up a little bit. Just, just, just a smidge. And blend that down a bit. Ha! Huh. Oh my gosh, I love this. This looks so cute. It just adds like the littlest amount that you need to make it look just that smidgen more magical. Oh, I love the contrast of this like magical like green glow compared to this like just like acid red sky. 
Um, I think it's like crazy and maybe I'm crazy for enjoying it so much, but I'm definitely enjoying it. Um, I'm going to go into a lot of the um, Viridian Hue and I'm going to come in here and like just really give some like hefty bushes. Now obviously they're going to kind of disappear in the darkness down here, but that's okay. They're doing exactly what I want them to do right now, which is just exist, just so that you know that they're green, but they're outside of that little, um, the glow. So they're in, they're in now in some darkness. And then we're gonna add some, so I added red here because I'm about to do something crazy. Um, so I'm gonna grab some of the white and I'm gonna add like, as if there's a base in here. That is just, it looks terrible. This looks terrible, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. Grab some more red. Maybe it needs more brown? I don't know. Yeah, the white is not, not where I wanted it to be. So let's scrape that off as much as we can. This is what happens if you make a mistake. It's okay. And I'm just going to very gently blend that out. And if I still don't like it, then I will add some brown and make it darker. Oh yeah, I, I super don't like that. Okay. Maybe I can come in with red and brown, but use the um, alizarin crimson. So it still has that red, but make like a big rock. Make a big rock. Okay, we now have big rock. We now have big rock. And I want, I still want it to be like a cliff edge. I just don't want it to be so pink. It's very pink, which was not what I was going for, which is kind of the problem is that it looks too pink. I, I don't want pink. I want, uh, I want like unsettlingly red, not pink, not soft pink. No soft pinks allowed. I was hoping that the uh, cadmium red would not turn so pink and it definitely did. So let's go ahead and grab some more of that cadmium red this time. Add it on top in a way so that it works. Let's grab a little bit of the brown to just kind of blend these together a little bit more. That looks like a horrible mess happened. What horrible mess? I don't know. Maybe I should just go back to it being green. I don't know. So what I wanted to do after this is be able to have a blood red waterfall and have it be red because it's coming from this part, right? So then I would come from here and then be like, through here and I'd be like, Oh, 
like that. So there's this like, the land is bleeding kind of analogy going on. <laughs> that's what I wanted anyways. I don't know if that's the, achieving that. But what I'll do is add more brown over here. Then add more green to this part here. And there's just enough of it to make it more visible than there was previously. But everything can disappear in darkness over here, which is good. And then I can maybe fix this still. <laughs> I can still save this. I have faith in myself um, to have little glowy red highlights over here on these rocks. Yes, maybe I can even do little red highlights on the bushes and we can have red bushes, which would be creepy and weird, right? Excellent. It is creepy and weird. That's what I wanted. Beautiful. And now we have this like creepy waterfall. I don't know if this is mist or if this is bushes. Who knows? I want it just to quietly disappear. So I'm just going to take the paint off my brush and then come back in. And just very gently blend it so it's very soft in this part. There we go. Oh, it, I still really like this glow. Um, this part turned out a little bit weird um, because I had something and then I hated it and then I tried to fix it, um, which I think you can kind of tell that I did have that happen, but I think it still looks overall very ethereal and creepy um, in a very like magical way. So thank you. Um, you can't really see all that well because black paper plus shiny equals invisible on canvas or on, on camera rather, not on canvas. Um, so it's really hard for me to show you guys what this looks like. Um, but you can really see that like in our glow part pretty well. And the sky is just so crazy. I love this guy. Basically, I started out really good. I got a little overconfident. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but then, you know, saved it in the end with a little bit more confidence. But, but a smidgen more confidence. Not, not too much. <laughs> see if I can just angle it for you so you can see it better. Oh, there you go. Wee. Very different. Wiggle it about. Oh, so cool. I had a lot of fun with this one. 
I hope if you guys painted along that you also had a lot of fun. And if you did, please, please, please share with me your results because I would love to see what, how other people interpreted this. Um, you can do this with different colors as well if you wanted to use um, like yellow ochre and blue. It might look really cool, um, but I wanted to do this with the green and red because I felt it was very unsettling. And that's why I picked those colors. But please, please, if you did something else, show me. I would love to see. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, thank you so much for subscribing and liking and commenting and doing all of those things. Remember that you are loved and you deserve to be loved. And I will see you guys next week. Mwah!